Hi guys, welcome to Matsy. With me, Miss Rasi, your teacher for today. Now let's try if this given example will satisfy this equation. Here stands for this, which is three raised to two. So it's that. And then B here is equal to this one, which is five raised to two. A stands for the axis of the x direction squared. And B stands for the axis of the y direction squared. To graph this, the center should be at the origin. So let's graph first the x value or the a. So 3 units to the left and 3 units to the right. So that's A. So let's grab uh, the denominator B, which is 5 square. So that is in the Y direction squared. So from here, going upward. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here, going downward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 units to the upper part, 5 units to the lower part. Then, let's connect the dots. So, remember, if B is larger than A, the graph will be looking like this. Remember, the circle is a special case of an ellipse. So the formula of the circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So let's see the relation of this circle to an ellipse. So if we're going to divide both sides of this by r squared, we would get what? This. In this case, your A is R, and so is your B. So that's the relationship of a circle to an ellipse. So your semi-minor axis is R, and so your semi-major axis is also R. So that's why the circle is a special case of an ellipse. Now, let me show you the shifting. Let's say we wanted to shift this ellipse. So, for example, I wanted to shift this to the right by 5. So, how will you do that? So, to shift this graph to the right by 5, instead of the origin being the x is equal to 0, the origin will be at x is equal to 5.
So if we shift that over to the right by 5, the new equation of this ellipse will be So this is the equation. If we shift the ellipse to the right by 5, Now let's shift this equation down by 2. So from this center, it will go down by 2 units. So 1, 2. So what will happen? So remember, if you shift the graph to the right by 5, you replace the x's with x minus 5, like this. So if you shift the graph down by 2, you would replace the y's with y plus 2. Therefore, the equation should be like this. So let's compare these two. So the first one is just like this but it's shifted over. This one is from the origin. So this one is from the origin 0, 0. And the other one would be the point x minus 2 and y is 1. So negative 2 and positive 1. So where did you get that? From this x says x minus 2. What will you subtract to positive 2 to get 0? So it's negative 2. And the other one, y is what will you subtract to negative 1 to get 0? So you will just go back to the origin 0, 0. So if you're going to graph this, your radius is your y direction, which is 2. Four here is equivalent to two square, and nine here is equivalent to three square. So your x radius is positive three, which is actually larger than your y radius, which is positive two. So what will happen to your graph? So where is negative 2 comma 1? So in here negative 2 is in the left side. 1, 2. Comma 1 is upper part here. So 
so our x value is 3 so from that center count 1 to 3 to the left and right 1 2 3 4 5 6 so there will be three units and for the y-axis we have positive two on the upper part one two and the lower part one two so this one to this one is two units So the graph will be looking like this and don't forget to name the point. Transforming to standard form. Following the steps, let's rearrange by variables. Now let's apply addition property of equality. To complete the squares, we need more spaces. So to complete the missing third term, we need the second term. Now let's factor the perfect square trinomial. So why do we need to divide both sides by 16? For us to have a positive 1 here. For the last step, let's simplify. 